but I thought the human spectrogram was really interesting because I've actually never done that. I've heard about it, and you might be one place on the map, and then like you may move, you know, based on what somebody says. It really makes sense. And it was interesting listening to people's responses as to why they were in the spaces that they were in. So far, the first one has been uh, building your own video portal, and it's been pretty awesome. Morgan Sully, Media Arts Center, and about uh, 20 other people uh, learning how to uh, pull all of these uh, different videos into one single website uh, to view online. It's been pretty awesome. I'm experiencing um, a strong sense of community here in San Diego. I just moved here a few months ago, uh, so to see this uh, like less than a mile from my house is pretty amazing. Well, Citizens 2.0 is all about getting involved in your local politics on a bottom level. Uh, city planning meetings, um, health board meetings, fire board meetings, and the, the main point of it is it's important to get involved at a smaller level because that's when you can really enact change in your community. I think it was great to hear from people who had a true passion about organic foods, uh, locally grown foods, and uh, uh, sustainable products. Yeah, learning about the farmers markets, um, what they're trying to get out, um, information they're trying to give about the farmers markets, um, trying to give people access to healthy food, and I think that's a really important issue, so I really appreciate um, to see what other people are doing, to see how they're trying to get food education and food access out there to people. I think people um, are a little more vi more motivated to get uh, the truth on things because it, it's apparent to me that um, most people don't have a good idea of the truths behind organics or um, farmers markets. Uh, so being motivated to find the truth I think is what people got from that session. Uh, you know, in the past I've done stuff with data regarding, uh, you know, spills, uh, usually sewage spills, chemical spills, done stuff with campaign finance on a regular, campaign finance on a regular basis, uh, you, I've done a lot of stuff with data. And it was just a, a good overview of what's available out there, um, got to get familiarized with uh, the columns and, you know, the different information out there, it was cool. But a, a lot of it is just people going out there and uh, being uh, active for more transparency in the government, you know, giving feedback to the government that these kind of databases are useful. I We're a hot food truck. We make handmade street food. We source local produce. We use all natural meats. And uh, we source locally and seasonally. I've been using open source software for eight or nine years now, um, but I'm hoping to see someone who's with a little more experience uh, using music software. Freedom of information means a lot to me, um, and it, it doesn't stop um, with journalism and things like that. It goes all the way down to the bare basics of the software we use and um, where that technology is headed and so on. Uh, so this is something new. This is a little more community oriented. Well, it was discussed the, the concept P2P University, the peer-to-peer, -peer, and I think it's awesome. I mean, it, it, it allows one to learn anything that you want to learn. If I want to learn something, I just uh, start a community that gathers people, and we learn in a collective, you know. So it's, it's not somebody just pushing information. It's more a collection, people who want to learn the same thing. I think that's what makes these kind of things great and that's what my project is all about. It's trying to get people involved that, may, that have no technical background and showing them how they can participate and how easy it is. And without the community, our project is nothing. I mean, the, the open source is all about being participatory, getting people like, you know, and a lot of our volunteers spend a lot of time on the browser. They have full-time jobs, but guess what? They spend their free time working in open source, which I think is great.
All right. And so what we want you to do is keep the beat, keep the beat. We're having a restart for planet Earth today. It far exceeded my expectations. I was hoping for the best, but oftentimes when you have an event like this for the first time, it could uh, you never know what to expect, but it seemed to have gone off without a hitch. It's hard to think of a better way for a Saturday afternoon to be spent just kind of making contacts, networking, and getting new ideas.